Hey, it's Alex with the Raven product team here to tell you about SyncView. SyncView is a new feature only available on the Raven. With a built-in light meter and proprietary timing adjustment software, SyncView allows you to avoid one of the most common pitfalls of high-speed photography with flashes, clipping. Today, SyncView will allow us to take photos well above the native X-Sync of a camera without clipping. First, I'll tell you about X-Sync. The mechanical shutter of most cameras has an opening phase and a closing phase that results in the sensor being exposed for a brief period of time. At higher shutter speeds, the opening phase overlaps with the closing phase, resulting in only a small portion of the sensor being exposed at a given time during the exposure. The X-Sync of your camera is the fastest shutter speed where your sensor is fully exposed. For most cameras, the X-Sync speed is around 1 250th of a second. Above X-Sync, it's common for clipping to occur that prevents part of the image from being exposed. SyncView allows you to shoot above X-Sync with a lower chance of clipping and a greater light output than that of high-speed sync methods. Today, I'll be photographing an orchid in the Fusion TLC studio using a traditional flash trigger and the Raven with SyncView. I'll show you how SyncView prevents clipping and allows for down to the microsecond timing adjustment. First, I've paired a Nikon Z7 with a Pocket Wizard Plus 3E controller. This controller sends a standard trigger command to your flash, which in this case is a Paul Buff Einstein. Below X-Sync at 1 200th of a second, I'm able to take a nicely exposed photo of the subject. Now, I'll adjust the timing up to 1 640th of a second. Here, I'm unfortunately unable to see my subject due to clipping occurring. Now, I'll switch over to the Raven with the same camera and flash. We'll enable zone A and set it to the same power as before. I'll also set the camera to 1 200th of a second. As expected, my photo is perfectly exposed. I'm below X-Sync. Now, I'll adjust the shutter speed above X-Sync to 1 640th of a second and take a second shot. With SyncQ, I'm able to see dramatically less clipping in my image even though I'm well above X-Sync. But it gets even better than that. I can press the SyncView button on the side of the Raven to see the automatically captured light profile of the last shot. The Raven displays the light output visually and conveniently adds the opening and closing of the shutter curtains in purple and yellow respectively. Using the ring dial, I will adjust the pulse timing to fit perfectly in the window where my shutter is most open. Now, I'm able to capture an image using a flash without any clipping above X-Sync. I can get creative here to capture rear curtain or front curtain sync as well. This feature is invaluable when you're dialing in the timing for high-speed work in the field or in the studio.